Okay, we've gone through this hive just now and we found the queen who's on this frame here on this separate box. So we've cut the queen to one side. So now that the queen is safely tucked away there, what we can do is set up to do a mite check. So whenever you're doing your inspection, if you've come across a situation where you found your queen, just get out your mite checking kit and you're ready to go. So we have our Varroa Easy Check sorted out with some alcohol in here. And that's going to be opened and just to one side here. And I've got my half cup scoop ready to go. Now we just need to get the appropriate frame. So we've been through here, that's where I found the queen. And I think just a bit further back here, I had a frame with a lot of open brood. This frame has lots of very young open brood here. So that's where the nurse bees are gonna be most heavily concentrated. The most recently hatched nurse bees will be on this frame in particular. So I'll make sure this is one I get sent by sample. And a lot of the bees will fly out, but a lot of the bees are gonna stay behind. And now I just take half a scoop of those bees. These ones are the ones that can't fly. Half a cup. Now that's half a cup of bees. So in the meantime, what I can do, I can put the bees back. I can put my queen back in the hive, if she's nice and safe. is doing very well, it's growing nicely, and it's just about ready for its next deep super on there. In fact, I'm going to be putting another deep on here, because we've got about six frames of brood, most of which are just about to emerge. But we'll come to that in a moment. Just in case my queen is here. Make sure she's not left in the box. And now we can do the check of this alcohol wash. So with the alcohol wash, we've got half a cup of bees is almost always very close to 300 bees. Now 300 bees, a numbered sample from this hive. Now, if we have mites on those bees, we can check they're getting washed off by the alcohol right now. So shake it up, make sure that any mites are washed off. As it is, they fall through the grid and they're into the alcohol. And then what we do is we look to see how many mites we might see. I think I can see one. Yes, I can see one. I'm just going to close up the hive first, though. Just for now. No point in getting them more aggravated. That'll be covered for now. So, let's get shaken. I 
and the mites would fall down in here. That looks like it could be a mite here. No. Actually, I would say we've got zero mites. Good thing about using a plastic container is it doesn't break when you drop it. I'd say we have zero mites in that sample. There's the odd bit of bee. They often eject their stinger. There's a stinger here. But those, those are actually free of mites. At the most, there's one mite in that sample. So, this hive is doing very well. If I had six mites in a 300 bee sample, I'd be at the point at which the hive needs treating. But right now, I would say that that sample was either zero or one, which means no mites, or next to no mites. I'm just gonna get another super to put on this hive. So this colony, uh, about five days to a week ago, had four frames of brood. Now I know it's got more like five to six, and the box is full of bees. So, this is ready to have another brood chamber added. So in here I have two frames of foundation, a frame of honey, four frames of drawn comb, another frame of honey over here, and two more frames of foundation. So this cluster and the queen will move up, start cleaning up these frames, and she'll be laying in here probably by tomorrow or the next day. Let's see. As those bees emerge down here, this hive's gonna get, this colony would be overcrowded very quickly. So, no mites, or very few mites, and they're growing. And the same can be said for the other hives in this yard, they're growing. Some of the ones that only had one or two frames of brood have a way to go, but the ones that had four to four or more frames of brood They've grown enough to already put another super on because those frames of brood have been emerging and the numbers of bees are going up rapidly. Um, and those colonies which are lagging behind because for no reason, for no uh, reason of the colony being ill or anything, it was just relatively small. As long as there's a good laying queen in there, I'll be going around and boosting those colonies fairly shortly. But for now, We'll move on with the other jobs. I'll use clean alcohol for the next one. Doing a mic check on the hive is one of the most important jobs that you can do. Confirming that you don't have high mite levels. If you do, you're going to save your colonies a lot of grief by getting them treated when it's before it gets 
uh, really bad. So doing your samples is going to give you a good idea of what the mite levels are in the apiary. To do an apiary of say 30 colonies you want to be sampling a good three or four of them to get a good idea of what the mite levels are in the uh, average mite levels are in the colonies. Keeping, a, uh, keeping an eye on mite levels is the way to keep control of mites and when necessary get a treat for mites. Hope you found that useful. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.